In today's video, I'm going to show you the best five-man blitz in all of Madden 24, and I'm going to show you how to run this blitz against several different formations. We're going to start in Bunch, obviously Bunch being the most popular offense in the game. You want to have this blitz be able to work really well against Bunch. It's going to be really good against Bunch, against Tight. We are going to show you a nice little modification to make this blitz work a little bit better against Trips Tight End style formations. The blitz is going to be out of the Dollar 3-2 formation in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook, and we're going to be taking a look at the play Spinner. Now, if you want to get access to my entire defensive ebook, we actually break down why this blitz is as good as it is, as well as how to create coverages and a whole defensive system around the blitz to make playing defense significantly easier. You can join our Patreon. It's where you get access to my full defensive, offensive, defensive ebooks, everything that we need uh, to be successful in this game. So if, again, if you want to check that out, the link's going to be in the description. But let's talk about the blitz out of Spinner. Now, what makes this blitz so good? Um, actually, I did forget to mention one thing that is really important. I actually think two things are very important. But the first thing that's really important is that your auto flip defensive play call is set to off. That is going to make this blitz significantly more effective. Okay. Now, the other thing that is really important, in my opinion, is that you have in this position right here, this is the blitzing position. You want to have a player with as high agility as you could possibly get. In my opinion, 90 agility and higher is ideal. Okay. So Ray Lewis with Lurk Artist has over 90 agility, and it's going to make this blitz a lot better. All right, so the play spinner. All we're going to do to set this up is we're going to pinch our defensive line, and then we're just going to put this corner on the right side in any coverage that we want. So in this example here, we're just going to man him up onto the tight end. We can do whatever we want on the back side of the defense. And as you can see, the blitz is basically set up. Now, if you look at these blitz angles, what's going to happen is this – defender because he's not crashing to the outside he is actually going to engage a little better with the guard which is then going to allow this blitz to come right down the middle as you can see and be super super effective now if they block a running back one of the things that i've noticed with this defense especially out of spinners specifically is a lot of times if they try to block a running back to pick this up it doesn't always get picked up you'll actually see it come in probably 70 percent of the time even if they block a running back, side protect, do whatever they need to do to try to pick this up, I find this works a lot. Um, one thing that you can do that will make the blitz a little bit more effective is backing off your slot corners. I think this does help the blitz significantly, and I do think, as you can see here, actually able to get it in against a blocked running back. Now, this is not the only formation that this blitz is good against. It's actually good against a lot of different formations, and I would say this is uh, probably the number one blitz in the game right now. Um, but what a lot of people are not understanding is it really is probably best out of the play spinner better than any other play because you have it's the only play where you have this really nice blitz angle to that defensive end. So against gun tight, really the same formula is going to apply. We're just going to man up that corner onto the tight onto the running back. And what you'll see is the blitz is going to come right through the A-gap. As you can see, super tough pressure to deal with because in this game, you can't really roll away from pressure. And especially when you start rolling out of the pocket in Madden 24, a lot of times they are going to have inaccurate passes. So it's yet another reason why this, form, this play is really, really valuable. And if you want to press, that is certainly fine, especially against gun tight. I find you can easily press against tight. But I do think backing off these outside corners and then shading outside will just help make sure you don't get burned over the top and you have one of the best blitzes in the entire game. Now, right there, it didn't come in. Obviously, been running it a couple times, so sometimes that happens. I will say if I base the line and pinch my D-line, even if I press and then I – whoops, I didn't mean to do that. If I press and I back off the slots, a lot of times this will make this a little bit better. Against specifically gun tight. Let me see. Get the pressure in. Really good. Love the five man. You can send it in a four man and you can get pressure with sending four, but the five man is super, super consistent and you're going to pretty much get it against really any formation. Um, now, I think the hardest formation to actually run this blitz against is trips tight in. Uh, and I'm going to explain why. So, the, the main reason is due to the fact if you look here to the left side of the screen, we're a little bit misaligned. Even if I man, if I man line pinch D, it doesn't really do a whole lot. You see how my alignment's kind of off couple different options that you can do for trip side in. One of them is to, instead of blitz off the left side here, we're going to try to send five with the guy off the right. And as you can see right there, kind of came in 100%, but did kind of come in. We'll show that a, one more time without pressing the defense. 
and sometimes this works a little bit better. So we see here, we'll just kind of create some coverages. We're going to have to use the running back out of the backfield. And as you can see, we actually get edge pressure instead of a gap, but still good pressure all around. And if they were to block their running back uh, from the trip side in formation, if they're to block their running back here, a lot of times I find that this pressure can still come in, especially if they run the play action blocking. A lot of people like play action blocking out of trip side, and we'll show you what that would look like here. So if they were to go to uh, some play action blocking here on the trips tied in, uh, let me make sure the tight end's on a route. I'll put him on. You'll see see how that guy comes off the edge. It just really pushes the pocket well. So um, really good blitz. But another little thing that you can do here is all you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and press the circle uh, receiver. You're going to then man up the L1 onto the circle receiver, and then you're going to blitz that guy on that side. And then over here on the right, you can just man this guy up on the running back. And now you're kind of back into your basic defense. And what you'll see is a lot of times this blitz will come through the A gap over there on the left-hand side. Another really simple formula for trip tight end is just base line press, pinch your defensive line, and you see this is what the pre-snap look is going to look like. Now, this isn't the greatest pre-snap look, but a really cool adjustment that you can do, you're going to inside quarter this right side guy, and then what I like to do here on the right is we can man this guy up on the tight end and then put this guy in a man up onto the running back. So we still kind of get pretty decent coverage here. You'll see that inside quarter will go to the left, and as you can see, the blitz comes in a little bit better when we do stuff like that. Uh, but really the best way, in my opinion, to blitz church tight end would be to um, essentially just move this guy inside. Pinch your defensive line, manually slide that guy in just a little bit. You can then allow you to keep your same alignment. You're still blitzing from depth. When you blitz from depth, it makes this blitz significantly better, and you're able to get the pressure. Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope that this video helped you understand a little bit of the ins and outs of why this defense is the best defense in Madden. If you want to learn the full defensive ebook on this in terms of how to create a difference adjustments and all that stuff out of it, join the Patreon. The link to sign up for the Patreon is going to be in the description. It's only $10, and I pretty much guarantee you that it's going to be the best $10 that you spend. I really believe in the products we have over there. I think it's the best offenses and defenses in the world. If you want to check that out and become a better Madden player today, head down to the description and go click the link down below.